Let us offer higher education as our war memorial. To honor those who took part in the great war. To the glory of those gallant fighters who came through. And to the memory of those devoted heroes who gave their lives in the cause of freedom. Now, every material asset a person possesses may flee. Education alone is an asset of which an individual cannot be robbed. The University of Leicester, educating and inspiring for a century. Our first two years at Leicester from 1960 were involved in studying X-radiation from the sun. Our priorities changed dramatically in 1962 with the discovery of a bright source in the night sky. For the following few years we flew rockets from Australia and found more than a dozen of these strange nighttime X-ray sources. To find out what they were, we really needed a satellite and then Ariel 5 came along and gave us that opportunity and we were fortunate to find an incredibly bright source, the brightest ever seen, which subsequent observations have found to be a very good candidate of a stellar black hole. I was invited as a human osteologist to come down and get involved with a project that was looking for Richard, but was probably going to unearth the remains of a medieval friary. The thing that I think this project taught me more than anything else was about the humanity of Richard III. And what finding his skeleton let us do was to realize just how much more complicated the reality really is. When you're an archeologist, your work isn't always self-evidently exciting to the public but this gave me a real opportunity to work on something that people genuinely connected with, people genuinely wanted to know about, and that was a really rewarding experience. I came to Leicester in 1977 and just fell in love with the place. It was that atmosphere of complete academic freedom. The biggest breakthroughs in science are those that come completely unexpected. DNA fingerprint is a very good case in point. Science tries to get it right all too often gets it wrong. Your job is to try and sort it out. It was after a lot of false starts, completely by accident, we came up with our very first DNA fingerprint. So that was on the 10th of September, 1984. And that was a moment that changed my life. Our work is dedicated to discovering new ways of responding to hate crime. We live in a world where, sadly, levels of hate crime are escalating year in, year out. And what we do is that we try to provide the evidence to help those agencies respond more effectively to victims of hate crime. To discover everything that we possibly can about their experiences of hate crime, the emotional and physical harms of hate, and what they want to see in terms of a response to hate crime. So for me, that's the only way of ensuring that our research can genuinely make a difference.
welcome to the University of Leicester Summer Degree Ceremonies for the College of Social Sciences, Arts and Humanities. The ceremony will begin when the academic procession enters the hall. Guests are permitted to take photos and videos, but are kindly asked to remain in their seats throughout the ceremony. Please ensure that any smart devices are in silent mode. You can share your photos and videos on social media using the hashtag LeicesterGrad. We hope you enjoy the ceremony. And on behalf of the University of Leicester family, a huge congratulations to our classes of 2020 and 2021. If you do not wish to shake hands with the presiding officer, please hold your brochure in your hand as you cross the stage. Please stand for the academic procession.
Professor Liz Jones, Pro Vice Chancellor of Education, will now open the ceremony. As Pro Vice Chancellor of the University and by the authority of the Senate and the Council, I declare this congregation open for the celebration of degrees conferred in 2020 and 2021 on those present. A warm welcome to you all, and now please be seated. Graduates and guests, hello and welcome. I'm delighted to welcome you to our summer graduation ceremony and to welcome you back to the University of Leicester. This is a memorable occasion in many respects, and we're all delighted to be marking the occasion with you. Achieving a university degree is an important milestone in any person's life, but what you have achieved what all of the graduates sitting here today have achieved is truly remarkable. You have lived through one of the most tumultuous periods in our university's history, a global pandemic that changed the world and kept changing the world before our very eyes. As you coped with sudden changes, with lockdowns, with hybrid learning, and sadly, in some cases, with serious pain and personal loss, each and every one of you has proven yourself to be adaptable, resilient, and successful. The applause you will receive today is particularly richly deserved. Well done. We're nearing the end of our centenary year here at Leicester, and I want to end my opening remarks by recalling the words of one of the university's founding fathers, Dr. Astley Clark. Writing in the aftermath of the First World War, he said, every material asset a person possesses may flee. Education alone is an asset of which an individual cannot be robbed. You have all achieved something, an asset, which is yours to keep for the rest of your lives. I look forward to congratulating you on your wonderful achievements. Thank you. Pro Vice Chancellor, as Head of the College of Social Science, Arts and Humanities, I, Professor Henrietta O'Connor, present the following graduates for recognition of their awards. For the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Mona Albassam. <clears throat> Naif al Karashi. Sara Alzarani. <laughs> Lauren Bellis. <laughs> Kelsin Delaney. Claudia Eicher. Richard Evans. Belinda Mollard. Mark Webb. Francesca White. For the degree of Master of Arts in Applied Linguistics and TESOL, Donovan Gatt. Morgan Phelps. Kamal Jeet Sal. 
Jonathan Tangri. For the degree of Master of Arts in Archaeology and Heritage, Richard Stonehouse. For the degree of Master of Arts in Creative Writing, Colin Gardner. Karen Rust. For the degree of Master of Arts in English Language and Linguistics, Sin Lo. For the degree of Master of Arts in English Studies, Eleanor Cullen. Amelia Joba. Lucy Gardner. Jyoti Sambi. For the degree of Master of Arts in Modern Literature, Imogen Toms. For the degree of Master of Arts in TESOL, Bashir Abdul Hadi. Notonyo Chai Watle Wong, Walet Wong. Kian Sun. For the degree of Master of Arts in the Classical Mediterranean, Elizabeth Andres. Edward Lowinger. Anne Shenton. For the degree of Master of Arts in the Country House, Samantha Braham. For the degree of Master of Arts in the Greco-Roman World, Alexander Harper. Katerina Komparova. For the degree of Master of Arts in Translation Studies, Ashwak Alat Alatni. Awa Albradi. Moneira Almullah. Shruk Alkanai. Jihu Zhang. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Ancient History, Lola McReady. Georgia Neely. Eleanor Redhead. Aisha Wahid. Sophie Williams. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Ancient History and Archaeology, Sohel Ahmad. Eben Harpin. Ingrid Iona McCovey. Kadisha Morrison. Zoe Scales. Ellie Sewell. Fiona Syme. For the, for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Ancient History and History, Emily Ford. Courtney Park. Eleanor Priestley. Rebecca Winter. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Archaeology, Sophie Bradley. Sandra Harling.
congratulations. Are you okay? Do you want to have a rest? Jaume Hernandez Monfort. Sarah Mooney. Kevin Rickard. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Archaeology with a year abroad, Taryn Spivey. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Economics, Benjamin Adcock. Adetungi Adeyuja. Celeste Adolfo. Shazad Ali. Gunit Anaja. Samuel Ancoma. Hannah Barton. Samuel Bown. Constancia Breeden. Jonathan Cayley. Jonathan Cookie Gam. Shirag Davda. Arjun Digun. Aishan Dufus Rumble. Gideon During. Hannah Eckel. Alina Francis. Matthew Gaysford St. Lawrence. Lucy Garvin. Uchink Gill. Umandeep Gill. Samuel Gurujena. Oliver Hawkins. Reese Howard. Beth and Hurley. Iron Deep Core. Mohammed Khan. Stephen Lynn Cook. Hitesh Malhotra. Ramadezai Mandashriza. Benjamin McDermott. Ahmed Mohammed. Mustaba Mohammed. Saeed Moen. Chelsea and Joker. Hakim Okawabi. Eleanor Parker. Anoush Patel. Neil Patel. Stuart 
Stuart Pate. Congratulations. Lewis Powell. Congratulations. Maheen Qureshi. Arjun Ray Kandalia. Alina Safraz. Samson Shuttle. Brian Sabanda. Current Saw. Stephen Standing. Congratulations. Emily Taylor. Congratulations. Natneo Tulde. Congratulations. Christopher Wilmot. Congratulations. Elif Yanak. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Economics with a year abroad, Zachary Eldridge. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Economics with a year in Industry, James Allen. Congratulations. Ben Harrison. Congratulations. Jacob Haycox. Asma Sahawan. Manpreet Samal. Congratulations. Chloe Tomlinson. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Economics and Accounting, Mariam Anjum. Imran Badat. Henry Butler. Congratulations. Ashanai Evans. Congratulations. Heather Gold. Congratulations. Thomas Harrington. Congratulations. Khalid Kadri. Congratulations. Amber Shand. Balwinder Singh. Congratulations. Jazreet Singh. Congratulations. Mohit Vasram. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Financial Economics, Muhammad Abdul Manap. Nidai Agravat. Samir Adrews. Aman Bell. Kishan Bardwa. Luke Casey. Marion Enin. Congratulations. Safwan Isat. Congratulations. Aaron Grace. Congratulations. Eskiel Kasim. Congratulations. Jotika Cowell. Uzma Khan. Congratulations. Luca Klutich. Congratulations. Shiwoham Lee. Congratulations. Sigrid Martinez. Congratulations. Rebecca Moore.
Amel Mujkanovic. Congratulations. Emiola Akofi. Awura Ose Asibe. Olu Watobi Osis Anwo. Congratulations. Sukjot Singh. Congratulations. Yamo Sisman. Taran Soma. Congratulations. Sharice Sang. Congratulations. Sharangan Udi Kumar. Congratulations. Janusan Vijaja Ratnam. Congratulations. Keying Zhao. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Financial Economics with a year in Industry, Rida Mughal. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Human Resource Management, Ji Yuan Shear. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management Studies, Rania Abdallah. Okheni Ochuku Adeda. David Aderi Bigby. Dulanjana Amu Nuguma. Hannah Back. Arjun Baines. Congratulations. Amrit Basai. Congratulations. Gregory Bertrand. Congratulations. Harvin Bakar. Congratulations. Aaron Batty. Antonia Bahuja. Congratulations. Harris Butt. Congratulations. Jacob Carsten. Congratulations. Yu Chan. Congratulations. Samuel Durrell. Congratulations. Abraham Fulbrook. Huen Yan Fung. Congratulations. Gurnam Singh Gidda. Congratulations. Marlon Haji Kiriaku. Congratulations. Zoe Hankinson. Congratulations. Zarin Hak. Luke Harper. Azan Hassan. Aaron Hayer. Tom Hayes. Benjamin Jackson. Priya Jethwa. Ria Kachwaha. Irene Kola Wole. Jermaine Kramowa. Lord Cueo. Samuel Lee. Humira Manzor. 
Matthew Miners. Taneem Minha. Sarah Moore. Rochelle Manoz. Michael Moale. Samson Ogundeli. Jane Otto Maywu. Oreluwa Oyekola. Janvi Patel. Paras Patori. Eleni Polakapu. Rani Sanusi. Liang Shan. Collins Shenji. Aluwa Tosin Sho Emimo. Kate Stiles. Thomas Swift. Farisha Tayab. Kara Theokaras. Bethany Williams. Zhang Ki Zhang. Madam Pro Vice Chancellor, may I present Margaret Kievelson, a candidate for the honorary degree of Doctor of Science. Margaret Kievelson was born in Manhattan, New York City. Her father was a physician and her mother studied physics, but her mother did not complete her degree for family reasons. Margaret went to a school run by Teachers College of Columbia University. She quickly developed a love of mathematics inspired by her teachers some of whom had taught at Columbia University. Radcliffe College of Harvard University admitted uh, women only, uh, but the courses were taught by Harvard faculty, and, is the, and it is there that Margaret went to study physics. In her first year, women and men were taught separately in some courses, although the separation ended in later years. However, her Harvard introductory physics course was integrated. Margaret remembers there were nine women and 400 men, and that the women's students were treated respectfully, wait for it, as appreciated pets by the men. I thought you'd like that. How things have changed. During her first year at college, Margaret met Dan Kevelson, whom she eventually married. Dan was a physical chemist. He used to say that a physical chemist pretends to be a physicist when he talks to chemists and pretends to be a chemist when he's talking to physicists. Margaret began her PhD as one woman out of 60 new PhD students at Harvard. The statistics were against her. At the time, almost half, women, half the women who started a PhD of Harvard did not complete the course. Julian Schwinger was her supervisor, and Margaret recalls that he never mentioned the fact that she was a woman. Schwinger liked to invite famous people to dinner with his students, and on one occasion, Margaret sat next to J. Robert Oppenheimer. In her PhD dissertation, Margaret developed a new mathematical tool to explain how fast-moving electrons give off radiation. 
Margaret had her first child, Stephen, during her PhD studies and, and was pregnant with her second, Valerie, uh, when she did her viva. Given the fact that her mother did not complete her physics degree, Margaret was very proud to graduate as a PhD from Harvard University. Her husband, Dan, then obtained a, PhD, uh, a position at UCLA and the family moved to California where Margaret got a job in the Rand Corporation. Her work was on the properties of hydrogen at mega bar pressures, uh, which would be a model for conditions at the center of the planet Jupiter. After a sabbatical back at Radcliffe College, uh, where she had an office in the Harvard Physics Department, Margaret developed an interest in plasma physics. It also became clear that this type of fundamental research is best done in a university physics group. On returning to California, Margaret joined the UCLA Plasma Physics Research Group, where she studied radio emissions from Io, the moon of Jupiter. In the 60s and 70s, the United States Space Administration, NASA, launched a series of satellites called the Orbiting Geophysical Observatory. One of the key instruments on board was a magnetometer to measure the Earth's magnetic field and how it interacts with fast moving charged particles that stream outward from the sun. Margaret contributed to the analysis of the data sent back from instruments on the satellite, uh, learning a great deal about the source of the northern lights. The four largest moons of Jupiter were discovered by Galileo in 1610. It was not surprising then that the first mission to send an orbiting spacecraft to Jupiter would be called Galileo. Margaret was responsible for the magnetometer data sent back to Earth from the orbit. It soon became clear that the biggest moon of Jupiter, Ganymede, had a magnetic field. The magnetic field data from the moon Europa was more complicated, and it appeared to fluctuate relative to the massive magnetic field of Jupiter. Margaret realized that the only way to explain this data was to propose a layer of conducting seawater below the icy surface of Europa. This discovery caught the interest of the press at the time and later was the subject of a substantial article in the New York Times. Margaret is always interested in the next project and is now working on the Europa Clipper spacecraft that will revisit the icy world of Europa making low altitude passes every few weeks in the early 2030s. The planned launch date is 2024. Margaret loves international teamwork, and once President Richard Nixon had initiated the contact between the United States and China, Margaret was keen to collaborate with Chinese space scientists. She made many visits to China, and her contact with Professor Pu Zuvin of Peking University resulted in several Chinese graduates coming to work with her at Harvard. She spent two years at Imperial College London collaborating with David Southwood, and using her high school French, Margaret enjoyed sabbatical time in France. Margaret has always been a champion of women in science, and she got involved in the cause in UCLA. There were some women academics in UCLA, but most were concentrated in just four departments in health sciences. Margaret highlighted this fact to widen opportunities for women in all disciplines. As a member of Harvard's Board of Overseers, Margaret realized that change only takes place very slowly at Harvard University. She says her major contribution was to define the dress code that allowed ladies of the board to enter graduation ceremonies without a ticket, only if they were wearing black and white with a significant hat and white gloves. During the first year of her studies at the, uh, of physics, Margaret often worked from textbooks translated from German. By the time she was studying space physics, there were many textbooks in English, but few addressed the subject of space. Margaret realized that there was a need for a textbook on space physics, and she set about writing one with colleagues. It became the most widely used textbook in the field, and the textbook was translated into Chinese. This is one of several copies of the textbook from our university library. 
and I have a secret to share with you. I have a secret to share with you. Please don't tell the library staff, but Margaret has signed this copy from the university library. So re remember that secret for me. Margaret Kievelson is a world leader in the field of space physics, as shown by her many honors and prizes. Member of the National Academy of Sciences, the James Clark Maxwell Prize for Plasma Physics, and foreign member of the Royal Society. She is also a fearless champion of the role of women in academic life. Madam Pro Vice Chancellor, on the recommendation of the Senate and Council, I present Margaret Kievelson so that you may confer upon her the honorary degree of Doctor of Science. Thank you, Pro Vice Chancellor, Dr. Jenkins, your kind words overwhelm me. Faculty, guests, graduates, and other students for bestowing this great honor on me. The pomp and ceremony associated with welcoming a group of hardworking students into the ranks of graduates is a high point of the academic year and I'm delighted to be part of this tradition at the University of Leicester. As I accept this honorary degree, I join you in celebrating the achievements of those who received degrees that they really worked for. Ever an optimist, I indulge in the hope that you, the new graduates, will undo the mess of a world that we are passing on to you. We need to clean up our planet make our society more equitable, and convince leaders worldwide that war is an unacceptable tool for settling disputes among nations. We have not succeeded in reaching these goals, but they remain widely shared aspirations and we ask you to strive to accomplish them. What lies ahead for degree, today's graduates in the various fields that are being honored here? Any answer would be a wild guess and probably wrong. That was true for me as a newly minted PhD many years ago. I studied physics but learned nothing about space. Indeed, I completed my PhD studies at a time when space flight and exploration of solar system bodies beyond Earth was the substance of comic books. But when the skies opened up to spacecraft exploration and I was offered a chance to solve problems in space science, I said yes, despite being totally unprepared, and thereby got in at the beginning of an amazing half century of remarkable developments. Your future may also be molded by developments that you do not foresee. You too will have chances to say yes to opportunities for which you have not been prepared. I hope that many will do so. Your society wants not only to take advantage of your expertise, but to encourage you to go beyond what you have learned in your studies. Good luck to all of you. Again, I thank the University of Leicester for the degree conferred on me today.
Frank Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the College of Social Science, Arts and Humanities, I, Professor Daniel Adley, present the following graduates for recognition of their awards. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management Studies with a year abroad, Brittany Jacks. <laughs> Natalie Lorenk. <laughs> Iced Rasmate. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management Studies with a year in industry, William Addy. Tinny James. Many congratulations. Kajol Jande. Rihanna Keller. James Patton. Elizabeth Ross. Oliver Swanley. Naya Taylor. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management Studies Finance, Nima Bailey. Tsi Chan. Jake Edgar. Patricia Gadea. Tossie and Goodwin. Malim Hossein Chowdhury. Hamali Joshi. Buaya Ombe. Ewan McFeet. Bo Cheng Yap. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management Studies with a year in Industry Finance, Anna Marie DeMello. Rebecca Waller. Aditai Pratap Singh Wala. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management Studies Marketing, Kwame Amortim. Clarissa Ankara. Sonia Baines. Rashida Beetson. Amrita Baru. Janice Chisholm. Bethany Howard Our Lady. Tenehu Tuhe Ikome. Gianluca Inzami. Lewis Kershaw. Chloe Lay. Tushombe Maynard. Kira Mugisha. Kivul Patel. Sophia Patel. Come on, like Ratanatoros. Usman Subhani. Benjamin Wythe. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management Studies with a year abroad marketing, Daniel Northcott. Dominic Street Barath. Young Wong. Congratulations, well done. 
For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management Studies with a year in Industry Marketing, William Bannister. Christoph Hadzi Savas. Kieran Hall. Well Timothy Nehuhari. Well Ronan O'Callaghan. Maria Sanchez Bassols. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management Studies, Organisation Studies, Charam Barmer. Marina Brissett. Olume Davis Nadi. Simran Dosange. Craig Hall. Charles Wongley. Fahima Rima. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management Studies and Economics, Amrith Arunayagam. Vikran Chopra. Tumininu Ebolewe. Yeah. Jeremy Oawa Kalat. Philippe Miranda. Jabir Nizamuddin. Nikhil Patel. Hayotuddin Rilwanu. Pollock Singh. Benjamin Tennant. Adedio Tunde. Kurum Vyas. Jonathan Yamoa. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management Studies and Economics with a year abroad, Claire Tessa Gann. Kei Lee. Narinjan Mathilagan. Yasmin Tijani. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management Studies and Economics with a year in Industry, Jerulian Ajay Frimpong. Declan Doyle. Francis Luterot. Emmanuel Naig. Well done. Tanya Ulasanya. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management Studies with Accounting and Finance, Tom Aston. Well done. Queen Elendo. Well done. Montserrat. Sumonu. Well For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management Studies with Criminal Justice, Bethany Haley. Well For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management Studies with French Language, Matthew James. Well done. Oshayi Oshoga. Adam Catamol. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management Studies with International Relations, Ryan Gregory. Well done. For the
for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management Studies with Sustainability, Chloe Baker. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Marketing, Ola Tozin Adjubadi. Well done. Miles Allen. Congratulations. James Berry. Congratulations. Natalie Christova. Kazi Ehatan. Yasmin Hatcham. Well done, congratulations. Joshua Jibulu. Well done, congratulations. Paravina Kanageswaran. Congratulations, well done. Habib Kavadia. Congratulations, well done. Osimi Arhon Ojibedea. Congratulations. Oli Run Feo Shio, Oli Wilson Sunnel. Well done. Kamia Raval. Congratulations. Harvey Second. Congratulations. Mansi Thakar. Congratulations, well done. Sophie Wright. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Archaeology, Martha Healy Gardner. Congratulations, well done. Corinne McWilliams. Well done. Olivia Scalata. Well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Economics, Ashley Achar. Asima Ugbarali. Congratulations. Saeed Awale. Congratulations, well done. Andrew Blacklock. Congratulations. Imogen Bland. Congratulations, well done. Daniel Bryan. Congratulations, well done. Diranjay Diraj. Congratulations, well done. Issei Dugu. Congratulations, well done. Naomi Abulubu. Congratulations, well done. Reem Elgali. Congratulations, well done. Nigmatul Aaron. Zara Hussein. Congratulations. Well done. Holly Jones. Congratulations. Well done. Katerina Kriaku. Congratulations. Well done. Louis Lu. Congratulations. Well done. Myron Mysuria. Congratulations. Well done. Janina Matthew. Congratulations, well done. Nayan Mohammed. Congratulations, well done. Matthew Oates. Michael Ona. Well done, congratulations. Rahul Patel. Congratulations, well done. Oliver Phillips. Congratulations, well done. Senthuran Primakuma. Congratulations, well done. Zenia Roju. Congratulations. William Russell. Oana Scott. Congratulations. Aaron Shergill. 
Well done. Razia Sims. Well done, congratulations. Jaspreet Singh Kaley. <laughs> well done, congratulations. Tolwa Lope Shuritiri. Congratulations, well done. Yasin Sumud. Congratulations, well done. Rishi Thaker. Congratulations, well done. Jamie Turner. Well done, congratulations. Ben Vieira. Congratulations. Fraser White. Congratulations, well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Economics with a year abroad, Lewis Evans Richardson. Well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Economics with a year in Industry, Samuel Gardiner. Well done. Jack Troke. Well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Financial Economics, Samuel Bright. Well done. Lewis Cook. Well done. Nicholas Cowell. Well done. Morgan Edwards. Congratulations. Peter Foster. Congratulations. Dilraj Hare. Congratulations. Rahul Patel. Well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Financial Economics with a year in industry, Sabrina Tokasius. Well done. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Financial Economics with a year in industry, Abdul Razak Karim. Well done, congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Human Resource Management, Trise Amato. Well done, congratulations. Judith Bileko. Many congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Human Resource Management with Gender Studies, Sonia Patel. For the Diploma of Higher Education in Human Resource Management, Victoria Makedonska. For the Certificate in Higher Education in Management Studies, Robert Kesson. Well done, congratulations. For the Certificate in Higher Education in Management Studies, Marketing, Troy Thompson. Well done, congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management Studies, Maria Hussain. Congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Economics, Shilpa Muthukumarana. Well done, congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws in Law, Ruby Lynn Williams. Petroni Nagoyui. Well done, congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management Studies, Sandra Ibeto. Well done. Benedict Robbins Landricom. Yuan Liu. Well done, congratulations. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management Studies Marketing, Tyler Arby. Congratulations, well done. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management Studies with a year in Industry Marketing, Oladami Oyinka. For the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Management Studies with Criminal Behaviour, Amri Orwal. Well 
For the degree of Bachelor of Science in Archaeology, Sogo Moriyama. Rhiannon Jenkins, President of the Students' Union, will now address the congregation. First of all, congratulations, you made it. It might be one or two years later than expected, but that just means you're owed an extra congratulations for surviving the graduate world under the toughest circumstances. Graduation is about a lot of things. The rite of passage, joining the alumni community, reuniting with friends and course mates, and it's also a chance to say thank you to those who have supported you along the way. Your lecturers and tutors, family and friends, loved ones, whether they're sat in the audience or unable to be with us today for any reasons, I can guarantee they're all so proud of the work and effort you've put in and are so glad that they were able to see you cross the stage. It's about remembering the moments that brought you here, from film nights and accommodation to sunbathing in Victoria Park, hours spent studying in the library, late nights and earlier mornings at Let's Disco, asking a mate to scan you into a lecture, absolutely destroying DMU at Varsity, rinsing freshers' fare for fee freebies even in your final year, trying to suddenly figure out teams, or even worse, Blackboard Collaborate, and coming up with your own way to celebrate finishing your degree with back garden campus photo shoots and celebrations over Zoom. Zoom. These are all the moments of your university life that have built a foundation of good times to go forwards with somewhere that you'll always be able to call home. Most importantly, though, today is all about you. It's about pausing and really celebrating your achievements, the hours of work you dedicated to your degree, actually finishing and receiving that certificate. You should be so incredibly proud of yourselves and take that pride forwards as you become alumni and officially graduates, ready to go out and face the world and smash it. Once again, congratulations and enjoy the sunshine. Thank you. It's been a real privilege to stand here today and to congratulate you upon your successes. Each one of you, along with your loved ones supporting you today, has reason to be proud and to celebrate. This is a momentous day in your lives, a day of achievement and celebration. It's also a day of transition, of more change in your lives, as you mark the end of one chapter and the start of a new one. I want to ask you now to cast your minds back to the time you first came to Leicester and to take a moment to reflect upon how far you've come. Each of you has been on a remarkable journey, one that will have changed you, will have challenged you, and will have shaped your future life. I hope your time here has enriched you, not only through the education you've received, but also through the experiences you've had and the new perspectives you've gained. Over your time here, you will have met new people, experienced new situations, acquired new skills, and gained new knowledge. All of this adds up to so much more than a simple qualification. Please, use all of this experience, all of this knowledge as a bedrock as a solid foundation for your future, one on which you can build and grow in whatever ways you choose. The future of work is changing, and I'm confident that each of you has the qualities employers are looking for, like problem solving, critical thinking, creativity, innovation, and leadership. The past few years have challenged you and tested you. You're well equipped to face the future with confidence you've shown that you have it in you to succeed. In your future lives, please see yourselves as ambassadors of the University of Leicester and carry our values with you. Be inclusive, be inspiring, and be impactful. Please commit yourselves to being true citizens of change who help and empower others. Finally, 
I have three things to ask of you as you make your way in life. Firstly, be ambitious. I believe that each of you is capable of far more than you realize. Today is the launch pad for your future success. Please continue to strive for excellence and never settle for second best. Secondly, be curious. Life never stops teaching us lessons. Please keep that quest for knowledge alive as you acquire new skills and learn new things. Today does not mark the culmination of your learning. It represents a new beginning. And thirdly, be kind. Our success is defined by our compassion. We cannot make progress as a society unless that progress is real for everyone. You never know who or where a helping hand will come from in the future, so please treat others like you would want to be treated. Steve Jobs said, technology is nothing. What's important is that you have faith in people, that they're basically good and smart, and if you give them tools, they'll do wonderful things with them. My message to you is this. You're now in a privileged position, holding a degree from a world-class university. You'll have opportunities to advance your career, and in doing so, strive not only for the best that you can do, but help others along the way. Measure your success, not simply by what you achieve for yourself, but, but by the good that you do for others. Now, I'd like to invite my colleagues on the platform and your friends and supporters who are here supporting you today to join me in applauding your success. And may I ask you, the graduating classes of 2020 and 2021, to show your appreciation for your tutors and all your friends, families, and loved ones who've been part of your journey. Today is about joy and celebration. Congratulations on your achievements. Have a fantastic day, and please keep in touch with Lester. You have in us a friend for life. Thank you. <laughs> so graduates and guests, Please be upstanding for the final time in this ceremony. Now I'd like you to please try to make some noise. Please join me in congratulating our classes of 2020 and 2021. I now declare this congregation closed. Please remain standing while the academic procession leaves the hall.